guys, Irina Bakley here, a licensed relationship therapist from Irina Bakley Counseling LLC.com. And today I'm doing my first video of a whole bunch of series of ebook videos that I have that I have decided to do that will cover everything from you know relationship tips, um, relationship myths myths as well as uh, relationship uh, building techniques that will help you to develop build and strengthen the connection and the relationship and the marriage um, of yours so the topic for today is relationship myth number one which is uh, fighting is sure a sign of a trouble so stay tuned to learn why it's a myth and what is it that you can do about it. So today we are discussing a relationship myth number one, which is that fighting is sure sign of a trouble. Um, and I will tell you why that's a myth and uh, what does literature say about it and what is it that you can do about it. Um, so in my uh, book, I, you know, that's myth number one on page 17. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, read it from my book a, a little bit and then we can talk about it. So myth number one, we've only been married for a few years, but we fight a lot. Aren't we supposed to still be in our honeymoon phase or something? Maybe we made a mistake, right? So I've decided to include this myth because I see a lot of it uh, in my work um, with couples and even with individual clients. And they all come in and they think that relationships should be perfect. And if they're fighting and if they're arguing, if they're... Um, can't agree on on several things and it kind of goes on and on then it's a sure sign of a trouble and it's symptomatic to something else that is going on in the relationship um, and I want to tell you that that's not true because if you didn't care about each other if you didn't love each other then you wouldn't be fighting and when I work with couples who are fighting and who have this energy and who have this um, desire to um, to you know to prove themselves to make it work to um, to you know communicate in a way that maybe not you know as productive as they would like it to be but when they do this it means they care and it means they love each other it means they committed to the relationship when I see couples um, where there is like a lot of silence and a lot of kind of death between them because they haven't you know um they've maybe given up on talking to each other because they can't talk to each other productively so they're giving up uh, on talking to each other um at all for you know several months or several years then it's much much harder to work with those couples to rekindle their love to rekindle their connection to rebuild their connection um, as opposed to couples that have high energy they you know it, it might look like it's more dramatic from the outside however on the inside you know I want you to really learn how to reframe that in in that it's you guys care for each other that's why you fight that's why you're trying to prove uh, the point that's why you try to come to a compromise and of course we're not talking here that you know the the extent of fights where there is domestic violence and there is uh, you know domestic abuse and and those kind of things right we're talking about couples who fight and you know you know but there is no there is no uh, kind of active violence or active abuse or active affairs going on, right? And both of you are committed, both of you love each other, but you just can't agree on a lot of things. And the truth is, you don't really need to, 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 you know, to be able to agree on this. You don't have to be right. There's a part of us that wants to be right, right? Because I have my own perspective and you have your own perspective, but you have to agree to disagree sometimes. And a lot of times in many situations, you have to agree to disagree and that's okay. Because we are human, because you and your partner, you're not clones of each other. You grew up in different environments. You grew up in different households. There were different values and different upbringing. So of course, you're not gonna look 
you know, you're not going to see eye to eye a lot of times. You're going to have different opinions on, on different topics. And that's okay. And that's actually helpful and beneficial to the relationship because those differences and in, in opinions help you to grow personally as well as help you to grow and take your relationship to a deeper level when you know how to talk about these things that you don't see eye to eye on, right? And that comes with learning how to listen to each other. That comes with learning how to agree to disagree. And it's, you know, a lot of research, and I talk about that in my book, a lot of research says that it's not, you know, you know what we fight about, it's how we fight. And so, and if you're interested in learning more about, you know what is it you can do to fight differently not to not to not fight at all like perfect relationships do not exist perfect marriage do not exist if you if you were under the impression that you 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 know you meet your partner and you fall in love and then it's 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 going to be all like roses and uh, I don't know butterflies until the end of the days. It's not true, and you're in big trouble if you if you think that that you know that is love is a verb. You have to really work hard. Love requires presence. Love requires predictability. Love requires hard work every day on your relationship. And when you get too comfortable, and when you kind of get you know when you stop putting work into your marriage, then it it starts sinking. So don't think that because you fight, because you argue, because you can't agree on something that your marriage is in trouble. It's not true at all. Don't insist on being right. Again, we're adults, we're growing ups. We don't have to have this, you know, we, we, we you know, we have this desire to be right, but for the relationship, it doesn't help your relationship. And so you have to Calm down, and when you are calm and reflective, you have to analyze. Fighting for this one stupid thing, is it worth it, or your relationship is worth more? So which which one of these things is more important to you, and then act accordingly. And, and a lot of couples I work with, um, a lot of times wives are the emotional managers in the relationship, meaning that they're the pursuers, meaning that they are the ones who initiate, you know, the difficult conversations and all those kind of things. And, and it's a lot of times I find myself teaching, you know, if kind of we are generally speaking here, wives or the pursuers or the ones who initiate uh, difficult conversations, how to talk about things that you don't like in a way that doesn't push your partner further away, but bring them closer together. And for another, you know, for the partner on the receiving end who, uh, who is listening to what the other partner who's a pursuer trying to say, this partner needs to learn how to reflect and listen to what this partner is unhappy with instead of defending themselves right away. When we get defensive and we start defending ourselves, there is a wall and then you can like talk and talk and fight and fight and all this and nothing is gonna, there is no movement that happens in their, in their couple dynamic. Um, and a lot of all couples fight. All couples fight all the time. If you if you thought that couples happy couples don't fight, that's not true at all. But how you fight again is is much more important. Um, um, yeah, so I think I've covered all their um, little nuggets that I wanted to cover. And if again, if you're interested in learning more about you know, how to fight and how to communicate and what is it that you can do, you can learn these tips and techniques um, in, my, um, in my book, which is called The Five Step Connection Guide to Your Dream Marriage. Uh, you can buy it um, on Amazon um, or you can get it for free if you go to my website, www dot irina bakley counseling llc.com which would be a link here that you see um and you can scroll down and you will see that if you sign uh, up for my newsletter that you can get this the pdf uh, you know electronic version of this book for free um, so you can also do that um, let me know like always thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions at all I would be happy to um, do a free consultation with you if this if if it seems like a good fit um, you and me and we can go from there again thank you for watching and see you soon